and gentlemen, welcome to another day with WWJ whipping with Joe on the island of Kauai, Hawaii. A garden island, we say. Beautiful day. Uh, uh, just got done with the shoot, so I've got one hour of time. So we're gonna try to do it here. We got the uh, Travella Shimano Travella here, six foot six, medium heavy, Spheros. 5000 KSW fitted with 30 pound power pro. Got a uni nut to the power swivel, a surgeon's nut on 80 pound Andy, about 3 4 feet, and a Rapala loop nut on the front here. And then we've got the bubble chamber Arca, it's a new one, just got it. Uh, don't know how good it is, but we're gonna see. Got this nice air right here, we're gonna pop here, we're gonna crank and pop. See what I can get. Uh, looks like I've uh, got a lot of area here. Right in the right of me is the surge. You can see the surge right in there. Uh, I believe conducive for fish, but it's, it's all timing. It's gotta be there at the right time. So that's why if it's not there, time to move. So we'll do 10 casts in this area here and move to area two. Um, we thank you very much for watching my videos. <coughs> <clears throat> the Papa Joe lure will be ready in a, in a few. That's the one called the 100 pound GT. So, anyway, we're gonna be here. We probably join about 80 yards right on top of the water here. This is a floater, a crank and pop. Uh, a lot of this rod has a lot of backbone. Uh, made for big fish. Uh, made for big fish. But we'll try it here. A lot of foam in here. A lot of foam area for Nomilu. Okay, so this is one. We turn right on the side of the drop off there. Right on the side of the drop off, probably about 15 feet. And popping it here, crank and pop. And uh, like I say, if there's someone there, bound to hit it. Bound to hit it. This is two. I want to hit it in that area, right in there. A lot of action for fish. It's two. This is three. I'll be one in here. Right on a little wheel over here. This is three. Crank and pop. Crank and pop is skipping them out of water. Black, it should be easy to see. You just gotta watch with the ledges here when it comes out. It's three, four, uh, it's a 1.8 ounce. I believe the 1.7 is perfect for me, but the one, this 1.8 flies pretty well. This is three here, looking for something bigger. This is three. A lot of white water, a lot of white, white water. Three, four, four. A lot of white water there. A lot of white water there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Where is that? Oh, don't know where is that. Here. Look out. Yeah, it's sitting on the top here. It's a floater. Right on the rocks in there. Be careful with this rock. This lure is around like about 20, 29 bucks. So you gotta be careful, you're gonna lose them. It's like another orca. Five. I'm looking for something right on the drop off there. Perfect water for a big one. Perfect water for a big one. Not like anything else, you gotta be around. Five. Six. Yeah, 
lost the loss of sight of that one. When you lose the sight of the, the plug, that's not good. You don't know where it's at. So. Six. Seven. I cut the butt of this rod around about two inches. So it fits right under my elbow. I like it that way. So it don't interfere with me. Okay, there's a six here. Seven. Not around, it's not around. This is seven here. Seven, seven. Whoop. Eight. Boom. Nine. Whoop. Not around. Nine here. One more. Ten here. Let's see. Not around here. We're going to move. Whip and move, we call them. Whip and move. Whip and move. Crank and pop. Okay, that's not around. Okay, there we go. Well, that's one area. We're going to move to the second area here. By the way, Thanks again for watching. This is WWJ, Whipping with Joe. This is a new Arc Allure. Bubble chamber. I haven't caught one in yet, but we're trying. It looks sturdy enough for a big fish. I'm just going to be around. Okay. Again, WWJ, Whipping with Joe. Have a nice time and good fishing to you. Aloha.